Is this like a client wide thing? Do you know? <gasps> oh, my colleague's laptop just blue screened. <laughs> We were all aware of Worldwide Blue Screen of Death Day, but that Friday was very, very, very unproductive for me for a few other reasons. Let's start with the morning. So I had changed my password about a week ago, but my PC had only just synchronized to use that new password for some reason, so I hadn't been using this new password for a week, and unfortunately I forgot what it was. Now, there were ways to reset your password through the internet, but I couldn't access my computer to get to the internet. I had run out of mobile data for the month. And on top of that, I couldn't connect to my company's Wi-Fi because my mobile wasn't a registered device. There was one other way to change the password through the PC itself, but the way it was implemented was so ridiculously bad, it just wouldn't work for me. So I had to call Help Desk, and here's a bit of a skit of how it went. Welcome to Help Desk. Your call is important to us, and you have been placed in a queue. Is anyone there? <laughs> the hell is that? Thank you for calling help desk. What is your employee number? Employee number? Am I supposed to know my employee number? No one's ever mentioned this to me before. Yes. Ugh. Look, I don't know where you're sourcing your information from, but it's completely wrong. You need some other way to verify who I am. You know what? Just forget it. I'm sorry, ma'am, but without that information, we can't help you with your current problem. Is there anything else I can help you with today? No, the client has an issue with production and I need to get a fix out as soon as possible. This is just wasting my time. I'm just going to hang up. Okay, ma'am. You have a good day. Good. Oh. Hello? Hello, hello? Is anyone going to answer my call this time, or are you just going to sit there and listen to me? Ugh. So I was talking with my manager the whole time and they were getting pretty frustrated as well and sent an email on my behalf to get this sorted. But I was so frustrated and desperate to get into my PC that I decided to try and brute force potential passwords that I could have chosen. And somehow I managed to guess it without locking myself out. Anyway, I managed to create the fix, create a pull request and merge it into our QA environment. Then I got a message from my colleague who said, the build hasn't started yet. Oh wait, it's just in a queue, never mind. I thought it was a bit strange at that time of the day for the build to be put into a queue. So I went into the build pipeline to see what other builds could be holding us up. And what I found was a little bit disturbing. There were only four ahead of us, but one of them had been in the queue for two hours. After mentioning this to a colleague in the office, he sent me a link that contained the status of Azure DevOps, and to my horror, I saw this. Seems to be a worldwide outage. Now keep in mind, this was well before the blue screen of death apocalypse started, so I'm actually surprised no one was talking about this, as it seemed to have been down for three hours already. But perhaps most users were sleeping at the time, I suppose, so it wasn't really a big deal. I remember posting this in our Teams chat saying, first, I couldn't get into my PC and was held up by help desk. Then DevOps goes down. What else could possibly go wrong today? Yeah, <laughs> foreshadowing. 
About an hour after posting that, the build finally started and I managed to get through the testing phase as well as the rest of our team when it was discovered that there was one other slight improvement that could be made to the front end, just for the overall user experience, of course. Because our lead front end developer was away, I put my hand up to volunteer to fix it. Unfortunately, I hadn't touched the framework or language in a very long time, so I was very rusty and really needed to sit down and concentrate on the code I was looking at to work out how I could fix it. You can just imagine how that went. It all started off with my colleague having an issue with his PC. Hello, yeah, manager? My laptop has just blue screened and has entered a boot up loop. I literally can't break out of it and can't use my laptop at all. Wow, those client laptops have always been underpowered. I'm not surprised that they would brick themselves like this. I'm glad I'm not on that project. What? You have the same issue? <laughs> What's going on? Do we know if the rest of the team is impacted? That's actually quite strange. How can two laptops go down around the same time? Ah well, at least it's not me. <laughs> Is this like a client-wide thing, do you know? <gasps> oh, my colleague's laptop just blue screened. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, well, I can't yes, even enter safe mode because, because I don't have access to it. Well, we're moment. probably going to have to wait for help desk to wake up or something out just or give us admin like something else. So I feel like it is anymore. It keeps restarting on the. On it seems well, it's maybe it's like Monday, right? Like, I'm going to have to catch you Monday. See you. Bye. Just do a check up and go home. There's not much we can do about it, right? Unfortunately. Which is not fair. I can't even have to say so because I don't have access to do so. Killing products. We're probably going to need to wait. The day ended and I was not able to get that fix out, unfortunately. I feel I may have been able to do a little bit better had I have not had the constant restarting, because in order to test the fix, I had to restart my whole system locally. And that was made up of several microservices that just had a very inefficient way of starting up. I needed to start up other things in order to get that working. So doing that over and over again meant that my productivity was just so bad that day. Unfortunately, that meant we'd have to wait till Monday for the front end dev to come back to do that change and I feel so bad for not being able to do it. Oh, but it can't be helped. I went home feeling rather deflated that day, only to find out that this was turning out to be a worldwide thing, which I wasn't expecting at all. At first I thought it was Microsoft's problem, but it turns out to be CrowdStrike. And annoyingly, my company loves, loves, loves computer security, so just sort of piles them on up on our machines. It would appear that my project manager who uses a client laptop did not have CrowdStrike running and enjoyed watching everyone freak out as their computer blue screened. Lucky him. <laughs>